I'm going to do a basic search in Web of Science. I'm going to keep the database on the core collection and I'm going to keep my field as topic. However, I'm going to change the custom year range to anything from 2000. But I'm going to leave the citation indexes all ticked. And I'm going to search for lanternfish. So you can see that I've got 127 results and on the side I've got some refinement options. So if I wanted to, I could further refine the publication year. I could also refine the document type. So I'm just going to select article and review and refine to that. You can see here that we've got Web of Science categories as well. However, on the whole, I'd be tempted not to touch these. It may be that if you're studying marine biology, you think, ah, oh, I'll just refine to marine biology then. However, by doing so, you may be missing crucial articles that Web of Science have categorised into fisheries or zoology. I would tend to stay away from these categories, and it may be that if you are getting completely messy results, it could actually be your search terms. I can also select author or journal title. All the results are down the middle, so if I want to click on one of these, I can find out more about this item. At the top, We've got all the information we should need to cite this. So we've got the article title, authors, journal, volume, issue, pages, DOI. We've got an abstract here and we can see where our search term has been brought up. We've then got author keywords, which are assigned by the publication. And then we've got keywords plus, which are further keywords assigned by Web of Science. If we scroll down, you can actually see the references that were cited in this article. So if you found an article that looks particularly useful, you may wish to check out some of the references that they used. And you can get to those by just clicking on them. So as you can see, that has now taken us to the record for this item. On the right hand side of an item record, you've also got the time cited. So this tells you how many times this item has been cited, but more importantly, if you click on the number, it will take you to those papers. So using the references and the time cited will allow you to go backwards in time in literature and forwards in time to see how an article has used other pieces of work but also how that item has been used itself to create new pieces of work. If I want to actually access one of these, Web of Science will only give you the abstract. There is a full text from publisher button, but that will take you to the publisher's page whether we have access to it or not. In order to save time, just click on the SFX at UOP button here. That will give you an immediate indication of whether we subscribe to the item or not. And you can see in this case, full text is available and we just need to click on the link.